On today's episode of the Saturday Doobie Feature, we're talking about Super Bad, or as I like to call it, Jonah Hill Strikes Back. Well, you know, I like to aching it to like dazed and confused, but except the chasees are now the chasers. We're about to get real confused. Hey guys, welcome back to the Saturday Doobie Feature. I'm Justin. And I'm Derek. Give it up for Derek. He's having, hanging with us today. We're talking about Super Bad, the 2007 Jonah Hill Michael Sarah epic when you had two Titans colliding. <laughs> I love that movie. It was pretty no. dope. Well, what's the opposite of Titans? Like, they weren't really Titans at the time, they were teens. Two teens colliding, and they made this movie. Teeny We've got some weenies. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a teeny weeny epic? Let's see. Um, here, get into this. Why don't you like this joint? This is from oh, Zen oh, Noho. Oh. I think there's some gelato in here, and we got like uh, some, Let's see what we yeah. got here. It's a gelato flower. It's some green crack shatter. Oh, that's going to be perfect for this, because oh, yeah. we want to we get back into that youthful mindset. You know, I'm also going to hit this dealy buddy. We got the lemon cookies in here. We're going to get this started real quick. I need a poker. I need a poker on set. We'll have someone Ted to that. Poker. Oh, we got a poker over here. So listen. Oh, there we go. Superbad was uh, written by... Th that was the big story of Superbad always, right? It was written by Seth, uh, Seth, uh, Seth Rogen, Rogen and Evan Goldberg when they were like 11 years old or something. Like, they had a sleepover. They wrote Superbad. They sat with it, like, in their back pocket. And then when they finally had the means in Hollywood to make something, they were like, hey, like... Let's reuse that script we wrote when we were 14. Well, they hooked up with Judd Apatow. Yeah. And they got it cracking. Judd Apatow's you know? like, you got any old ideas sitting around? Let's make Super Bad. Um, casted with Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill, who give like kind of the performance of a lifetime that's almost carried them the past it's, uh, 11 years now. They're a great comedic duo. I would say that. I yeah, say they that. are. I mean, in terms of like a modern comedic duo, who do you have that that stacks up otherwise that's in your head? They're like the, they're kind of like the modern Keenan and Kel in this. Oh my you God. Know? Like, uh, hold on one second. I'm going to hit this I think little. you're right. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's, that's a great fucking assessment, dude. That's a great fucking assessment. They are two friends in high school. They're, it's like the last, I guess it's like kind of like the last day of school or something, right? It's the last. Yeah, it's like the last day of classes rock, in our big summer theme know. that we're working with right now. I mean, basically, they're trying to get laid. You know, I mean, who's not at that age? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you who's know. not at, at this age? <laughs> I'm married, but I'm trying to get laid in a certain way, you know, <laughs> with my lady. They're in high school. They're trying to get laid. How do you get laid at a, at a party? You, you, you make everyone like you because you're, you're the guy who brings the booze. Well, you got to start with the booze. You got to start with the booze. I have a thick booze. ID back in the day. Oh, it's fake yeah. ID. McLevin, right? Well, that was part. It, that's why it spoke to me. People, it, I love that guy. It, this is a really realistic teen movie, and that's why it was so successful at the time. It made $121 million. Dude, you know, I, why did it make that? It, it, it kind of portrayed these uh, teens in a mid-2000s realistic light realistic ways that I would talk to my friends, I guess you would say. I don't know. We, we well, would never subscribe to porn, so we never had those conversations. No porn, no porn. No, just free. I, no, just free. I would never pay for it. <laughs> it's just... But but the conversation's very realistic. The language, very realistic. Very realistic point of view to put yourself in, directed by Greg Matola, who has a really nice... Doesn't overdo it in any way. It's really simplistically kind of shot, but really well, <clears throat> smoothly shot all together as well. Um, and then, obviously, you have Seth Rogen. And uh, Evan Goldberg popping up in there for their fun shenanigans. Who's who's your favorite character in Superbad? Uh, dude, it's got to be Christopher Mintz Plants, aka McLovin. McLovin, it's yeah. like he. I I, I want to be nice about this. I really don't want to be rude about this in any way. But like, talk about lucking out. Like with your first. Like I was not, just thinking, they're that. not always looking for a McLovin. You know? Ne ne no, no, no. They're and even when they for are, a McFucking, but. And even when they're looking for McLovin, <laughs> you don't get to showcase like. He knocks it out of the park, 110% in this movie, from, uh, you know, being the suave, cool guy. with. The, although I think he spends a little too much time with the cops, I hate that they're separated for so much of the movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, But, but that just know. makes the reunion so much better, I think. Exactly. I think it gives you a climax, and it gives you something to come back to, because you don't want to stay with those two throughout the whole movie. You got to chop it up, break it up, give the audience something else to, you know. Real couple, I mean, like, the movie goes a few different places. You, you go to a, an older party. You know, you get to see the purchasing of the... Like, that's probably my favorite scene, actually, of the whole movie. The it's album? like, I'm going to stop obsessing over the daily, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm getting stoned. So you know how you, know how you guys get. I, um, when he's trying to buy it and he's for, portraying all of the ways that they're in the uh, store and how it's going to go down. Like, he talks to the grandma. And talks to that. Like, I want a whole movie that's just shot like that, personally. Um, that's like a good improv scene, you know? I wonder if they just, like, kept the camera rolling and 
There's there's a Fucking crisis going away. on. We'll fill up the dealy buddy. It's okay. You want to switch? No, yeah, please. Oh, yeah, no, I would love to switch. By the way, yeah. this uh, Slim and Sherbert is fucking... Oh, is that what right. we just named it? Because it's green crack and it's uh, gelato? So you call it Lemon Sherbert now? Well, see, I already... I smoked half of it, so I'm fucking high. Okay? <laughs> it's because of the lemon Thank cookies. You. All right. Thanks, Zen Noho. <coughs> Zen Noho, good looking out. Did you... Were you one of these kids in high school? Were you one of these, like... Uh, did you have fun times at parties? Did you have fun stories? Uh, You know... I was always the one who got too fucked up. Oh, yeah, dude. Got, like, That's the, why we're here. The mud on his but you know what? shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about that, but you know what? I want to say that that's probably why we're here. You don't you don't grow up to be the host of the Doobie feature without getting some mud on your Not shorts, Not by guys. accident, baby. That's no. pure fuckery the right first there. Time, pure fuckery. The first time I, uh, here, I'll light this a little bit more, got super blackout drunk, it was the... Uh, after party of Pippin the Musical when I was 15 years old. <laughs> so uh, my, my faintest recollection being that I had like way too much 99 bananas, you know. Wait a minute, you were in a fucking musical? Yeah, I was in Pippin. You can sing? I, I've sang. Uh, I've sang. I mean, I didn't have a great part in Pippin, but I was in. Uh, <laughs> I was in the Music Man. I was Harold Hill. But that was back in my back in my uh, prequel years. <laughs> yeah, prequel. And uh, I remember what, we were watching Wet Hot American Summer. I was like laying on this girl's leg, and not like in a you know just in like in a friendly way. It was like the theater groups so were all like very touchy. My mom always told me she's like, don't go to one of those theater after parties because everyone just sits around in a circle giving each other back rubs. That's not true. Which, because you know what? I went to theater school, and we don't give each other fucking back rubs. We I give, the, we give the ladies back rubs. <laughs> Thank you. Very touchy group. Yeah. Was my point. But it was okay. <laughs> Watching Wet Hunter Summer, and at some point I just started like vomiting all over her leg. Which was like, we weren't great friends or anything, you know? So they shipped me off into the bathroom. I get in the bathroom and, and then it was retold to me the next morning that I had been totally naked, refusing help in the bathroom, but I like I you know, I stayed in the bathroom wow. and uh, I had flu symptoms for the next five days and I couldn't go to school. And you totally let the joint go out, didn't you? Yes, you did. No! You see, folks, this is why <laughs> you don't go long-winded mic. on a fucking story. You gotta I, keep it moving. I, I really you thought you guys. Moving. I really thought you guys were. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm just lighting that. Otherwise, you're you're the professional here. Well, Touché. you can't beat that. You Touché can't top that. You don't have. Uh, I thought you're a Mr. high school story. Yeah, I thought you're. Oh Mr. my god. Uh, well, I'm not Mr. Suave, but I do have a story though. All right. So it was like the the night of high school graduation, and you know the the girl that I loved. Oh my God! You had a nice prom date. You went, no, I, I went solo. We all got together. It was a huge like. It was a huge party. We have a lot in common. A huge party. We have a lot you in know? common. Sixty fours, sixty fours, and forties. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's a fucking party. Anyway, <laughs> so the girl that I loved, she had such a fat <laughs> ass, yo. Her ass was so fat, and I, I honked like her going. and I hunted her all night long. What? In that I didn't order. Hunt her. In the opposite order. Well, I didn't honk her either. Okay. So I actually <laughs> serenaded her, and you know. Anyway, long story short, by the end of the night, you let we the were in out? the bed. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> That's that. that there you go. Long story short, by the end of the night, I was too fucked up, and I fucking Trade me. threw up on her. On her? On like the frontal? I did. I pulled that my senior year too. We senior were both year. naked. Oh. Yeah. Senior year, I uh, we went out, got so hammered on New Year's Eve, threw off my girlfriend, tried to hook up with another girl in front of her. When we got back to my house, she was a saint, took care of me, still brought she me still back. Still took care of you. Still brought me back to my parents' house. Wow. I thought the front door was locked, and I climbed through my window and passed out on my floor. It was not locked. That's a super bad moment right there. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Kristen. Man, Kristen, you're a fucking saint. Yeah, she was cool. You you deserve a joint. But you know. Yeah. Uh, high school. Um, I, so I think that that's why the movie spoke to a lot of people. We have. We I think we all have these stories. If you have stories that you want to tell us, at us. Tell me on on Instagram. Do you guys have any cool stories about Leave beer runs? Here. Oh, beer runs. Beer runs. Have um, you ever did a beer run? Every week. Yeah, every, what? Every, almost twice. Almost what? twice a day. Sometimes. No, Do yeah. you know what a beer run is? Yeah, B W E W R U N. Beer run. Of course. When you, you know. don't pay for the beer. I have not done that. You have experience doing that. Yes, that's uh, what you. That is. That's a another beer podcast. Run. That's a hood beer run. <laughs> that's a hood beer that's run right the, there. That's the yeah. doobie heist. Yeah, that's where you go in. You grab some Doritos, <laughs> grab a couple of twelve packs, some beef jerky, and you make your way to the cash register. Hmm. 
And then you fucking just, you haul ass. I just want to do you it. Know? I fucking just I, go. Listen, listen. I'm down with that. If I made like a, if I'm if in a desperate place, uh, I just ask myself. But I can't do it where I live. You know, you don't shit where you eat. Well, you so never do it the, by where you live. You do it in other neighborhoods. You're you know? at like the party. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, be, I'm sipping on some of my gangster tea right here, <laughs> listening to some of these tips on how to steal <laughs> beer. You hold on. You know. It's good. It's good. This is valuable to you guys. I'm 30. I'm a little. I can't. I don't go to the bar because I can't afford it. I can't really run out of the bar. I've ran out on like a. I've ran out on a bill one time. That's like one my heistingness. Yeah. Ran out on a bill one. All right, twice. But I left the court the second time, and I just... <laughs> all right, all right. I ran out five times. Okay, that's it. No, that's seriously, it. and the other time was service-related. <laughs> if you guys have any service-related issues that you want to talk to us about, at me, uh, Justin <laughs> underscore Gentile on Twitter. <laughs> just Gentile on Instagram. Would love to talk to you guys about that. Um, <coughs> was this, is this <coughs> no. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, folks. No super here. bad cough moment. It was super good. It was a super, super good episode. Thanks, Derek. Hey, no worries, man. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Do you, want to, do you want to tell people where they could find you otherwise? Oh. If there's like a... Sorry. No, I'm just... just this smoking is... and I forgot about the camera. Uh, if you want to <laughs> if you want to holler at me or, you know, say hi or slide in my DM, uh, <laughs> underscore V, that's T-H-E, Derek Scott, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-S-C-O-T-T, all one word. Mm-hmm. Like an oil, Derek. How do you think we found him? My name's not Larry. Slipped in there. Yeah. Your name's not Larry? No. What the f- Guys. Nobody, Seriously. Nobody tell him. All right. Well, I, I introduced anything. myself nobody earlier, and somebody said, hey, Larry. I said, no, it's Derek. So. <laughs> Cheers. Anyway. Thank you, Hollywood Redux. Thank you, Hollywood Redux. We'll see you guys next week. Appreciate the buds. All right? Bye. <laughs>